makes his long legs and hopper. presentation about cute little adorable frogs nah I'm just kidding they ain't cute well anyways let's get on with the presentation today you will learn the scientific name for frogs the region that they live in their animal group their lifespan their life cycle their habitat <laughs> A description of frogs, frogs' characteristics, how they survive the winter, what marsh wriggles are, just kidding, examples of amphibians, what frogs look like in different continents. Wow, that's a lot. Scientific name, Anura. Region, every continent except Antarctica. Animal group, amphibians. Lifespan, 10 to 12 years. The life cycle of a frog, egg to tadpole, to tadpole with legs, to young frog, to adult frog, and then back to egg. Here's a picture of the life cycle from one of my books. Habitat. Frogs live in any body of water, especially ponds. Frogs can be found anywhere from extremely hot climates and extremely cold climates. Hey, hey, stop that! Description. Frogs have brown skin that look like they have bumps on them. Frogs have a plump body, sharp eyes, a long tongue, and floated back legs. Woohoo! Here's a chart that I found on the internet that describes all of the body parts of the frogs. The eyes, external layers, the mouth, the time pan numb, the upper arm, the forearm, the fingers, the hand, the, the web, web, you know, the web in between their toes, the toes themselves, the foot, the ankle, the thigh, and the shank. Characteristics. Frogs live underwater because they can breathe through their skin. To eat, they'll sit on a rock, throw their long tongue out, and catch a fly. How frogs survive the winter. As you may know, frogs are cold-blooded animals, which means that they take the temperature that is around them. So it must be hard for them to survive winter, right? Not at all. They just burrow up in the ground, snuggle, and begin. What are amphibians? Amphibians are ver vertebrates, which means they need water, so they survive w living in water. But some live underground where it is moist. Amphibians always find a place to live no matter what. Examples of amphibians. In the top right, you see a newt. Right below it is a salad mem member. The top left, ugh, that's the Cecilio, which is a type of worm. It actually lives underground. And then below it is the toad, which I'm sure all of you have heard of and probably even touched toads a lot. And then under that is what this presentation is all about. Frogs! And of course, there's this heart, which I... Absolutely love. And here the chart is the chart where all of the frogs live in the different types. Of course, I don't know these types, but you can see tree frogs, um, uh, giant frogs, stuff like that. You know, and I don't know the name of absolutely any of them, but then I know um. The, one of them is named Todd and Bob and Billy Bob. You know. An interesting fact. Did you know that some countries actually eat frogs? In China, Vietnam, and Japan, they will prepare frog sashimi. You can actually eat them alive. Ew. Bye-bye.
these are frogs. We have a pond in the back. And so when we first made it, I don't even think we wanted frogs, but then Hoppy came. Hoppy is not very alive now. But now we have long legs and Hoppy and the mommy. Uh -huh. Or this might be the mommy and then I'm just... And the son's worried. Bye-bye frogs. Bye -bye.